the Yankees bullpen has had its leaks. Like, I can't say it's been a consistently great unit all year. However, I do think at this point in the season, it's becoming a strength for the team. Um, just the amount of options they have to go to. It's expanded. It's allowed the Yankees to rest guys. It's allowed Chad Green to look better. It's allowed Chapman to look better. It's allowed a lot of different guys to perform a lot better because they're not consistently going out there on the mound day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out, and getting you know worn down. Um, I think a big part of that is Luis Severino, especially the fact they turned to Luis Severino down one for two innings. Um, now, obviously, the second inning he pitched, they were up three, but you would think, okay, Severino's pitching with a lead, or you're, you have a lead now. Just go to Clay Holmes, right? Go to Clay Holmes, go for the eight, go for the kill, go for that eighth inning, go for Chapman. But instead, the Yankees said, Severino, we trust you to hold this through run lead, or at least don't give them up, don't, don't immediately give up a run. Don't bring, let them come back into this game. Don't give them a little bit of momentum. Don't give them anything. And he was, a, he hasn't, he hasn't pitched. He's pitched once. Two innings against the Rangers in a blowout game. That's his only pitching, that's his only outing since the postseason in 2019. And they immediately said, Severino, here's the ball. Here's a big time moment. You got to go out there and deal. And that tells me their trust factor, their trust level with Severino is already high. They're just going to accelerate the process. You either sink or swim. Um, and they did it with King too. They're like, King, here's the ball. Big spot in the game. Sink or swim. Wandy. Big part of the game on Friday, sink or swim. They are not messing around. They are not going to kiss baby guys anymore. You're, come, when you come in and it's a big spot, you either sink or swim. Now, the Yankees have been aggressive in the sense that they've pulled starters earlier than you would think. They've gone to the bullpen more aggressively. Boone has managed like it's a playoff game every single game because it is their season's on the line here. And they're looking, they're just looking to fight another day. Um... You know, you can't worry about tom a tomorrow that isn't guaranteed. You can't worry about how your bullpen is going to be for the postseason if it's not guaranteed. Um, there's no guarantees in baseball. There's no guarantees for the playoffs. The Yankees have to get there. The Yankees have to say they're there before they think about the playoffs. Um, and Severino's a catalyst for this. He He's he's a difference between a good bullpen and an outstanding bullpen. They have one guy who can give them great length, and that's Michael King. They have a second guy now who can do that. Two guys who you can get three innings out of reliably. That's six innings of a baseball game covered by two guys out of your bullpen. That's not even discussing the fact they're going to get Loiza Gassoon. That's not discussing the fact that Clay Holmes has been immaculate. That's not discussing the fact that Green looks better rested. That's not discussing the fact that Chapman's been electric as of late. Even though he gave up that home run to, to um, Dalbeck, I'm not mad at the home run. I'm more mad at the hit by pitch. Dude, giving up a home run, up three runs, you're just trying to throw strikes. You're just saying... You're trying to, you know, toy around with a couple pitches, see what's go what's working, what's not, because you're not going to go up there and just start walking the bases loaded. Chapman did his job. And as upset I was that he hit the guy, because I don't like giving free base paths and give, bringing up the tying run unnecessarily, I also think that just throwing strikes is a fine idea up three. Just let them hit. If they hit it, they, if they hit a home run there, they can't tie the game. So I I understood the Dalbeck situation. But Chapman's looked better as of late. Lewis is coming back and he's been immaculate. Um, Holmes has been immaculate as a Yankee. Rodriguez has turned it on. Um, Wandy's been very good. Litgy's definitely been good. Uh, King has been incredible out of the bullpen. You have so many guys to turn to. You have so many options in that bullpen. And all of those guys, with the exception of Chapman, can give you multiple innings. And Joelle. Joelle, I haven't seen us give multiple innings reliably. I think that was the first outing against Baltimore. But, um, you know, he didn't pitch that well. So... I, I think he's more of a one inning guy. Um, but they have guys who can give them length. They have guys who can do it effectively. They have guys they can turn to and make up for a rotation that hasn't pitched very deep into games very frequently. So, you know, I, I think Severino's kind of the difference between, you know, having guys, you know, having a good bullpen that can give you length and having an outstanding bullpen that can give you outstanding length and carry that rotation. So it's going to be a, the difference between, in my opinion, the Yankees making a deep playoff push or not. If the Yankees make a deep playoff push, I think a lot of it's going to be on, on because Severino pitched so well. If he doesn't pitch that well, I think it's going to be that's going to really define it, right? Um, offense obviously plays a factor here. Defense plays a factor here. A lot of different things play a lot of different factors here, but I think a lot of it's going to depend on how good that bullpen can be, and I think they're going to be able to just be that much better with Luis Severino. So with that being said, that wraps up today's video. If you guys like what I do, please like, comment, and subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ryan out.